man sharing light and they have a problem with these two because the man have a grasp of the problem of this country so they have a problem with that they want they want campaigns it's not this country that people do not go to debate and they see win as president they want to have campaigns that are not issue based they want to be discussing personality look at look at you know Melaye, a former senator who is a spokesman for presidential campaign antagonizing and discussing they are about to fight and we crush your problem that's what they want battles feast let's discuss the problem of this country how do we move nera to equal to the dollar how do we stop fuel subsidy how do we discuss the how do we ensure that our country begins to play macro economies with the other nations of this one no they don't want that that's why i don't like it at me you want to start debunking facts that the man is claiming whereas you do never have an iota do you have sense what's the video what is what question i ask myself and you see our country today, the way it is and everything, everybody is saying how we're going to change it. Let's ask ourselves, how did we get here? That is the question. How did we arrive at this junction where we're not being talked about in this manner? We now have agitations. Boko Haram. Hesman. All sorts of agitations from everywhere. Whether it's in the east, in the west, everywhere. And I can tell you it's going to worsen. This is what you have when you have. It is cumulative effect of leadership failure over the years. And it's not going to stop. Because you have millions of your people. I was just talking to somebody this morning. And I said, listen, people are protesting in Iran. They're not protesting in Nigeria. But people don't know that it, the protests will come. If Iranians can protest, Iran has a GDP of 400 billion. With 79 million people, their per capita is 6,050 naira, 50 dollars. And they're protesting. Nigeria per capita is 2,000. So the person with 6,000 is protesting. We're not. Iran generates 74,000 megawatts of electricity we generate for. And they're protesting. Iran has the unemployment of 11% and youth unemployment of 25%. We have unemployment of 198 and youth unemployment of 61%. So those youths will protest one day. Those of us who happen to be lucky to live in Iquia and Victoria Island, I say to them every day, if we don't look for food for those who live in Ajegunle, one day we will not be living. So my people, what you need to do is, I believe that you must invest in Nigeria, you must bring your investment. What else can you do? Well, above all, the last, last request is most critical. We must change the managers of Nigeria. And somebody asks, how about your life? You ask that question. You know why you ask that question? Nigeria has become a case of where lunatics took over the asylum. And we know what lunatics do when you want to take anything back from them. They create a thing as if there's a war. So you run away. If a madman calls you, you say, hey, everybody say, I don't want to touch this madman. That's what they are doing. We need to take it back. We need to become as mad as they are and take it back. They can manage it. You have a critical problem. The managers of your country, I'm not talking about president or governor, anybody. Fella hit it. The lower people, none of you knows who is in your local government. Every local government in Nigeria receives 100 million naira every month. Go and look for their chairman. They are nowhere to be found. And the same thing goes with your state. You have a situation today where people are owing salary for seven months and they are celebrating their birthday. How can you say a thing like that? How can you be celebrating when you've, you're, you've ruined people's life? People are dying and you're celebrating and people are watching it on TV. It's a crisis. And the only people that can stop that crisis is you. They can't stop it. 
selling people in lunch that when I, I found it amazing that even people in America are part of the problem. As governor, I come here, you know what people tell me? This man bought this house, this man bought this house. Where are you going to buy your own? Why would I buy a house in America? I don't live in America. I have nothing to do with America. It only cost me $200 to come here and go. Why will I buy a house? Americans should live in America. I'm a Nigerian. I live in Onitsha. That is where I should live. I go to South Africa. I go to everywhere. I say, buy a house in South Africa. Buy How many South Africans have bought a house in Nigeria? How many Americans have bought a house in Nigeria? So why will Nigerians come here? You live here. You yes, you can own a house here. Yeah. But not people. I come here as governor and Nigerians will tell you, oh, let's bring somebody and have a party. Why will I leave Nigeria to come and do party here? No way. I should come here as a beggar for you to give me something to take home, not to come and celebrate here. I have people who need food in the country. And Nigerians are celebrating here. And you go there and become them his excellency. When you should push them to go back and do their work at home. So start telling them, if your governor comes here or local government chairman, do not be part of celebrating him. Tell him to go home and fix what he's supposed to do. Don't encourage him to waste his resources. He didn't come with his money. He came with your money. We're asking you to bring back your own. What we need to do is to manage that which is there effectively. And on top of it, our government have the most wasteful people in charge in the world. We're in a state of Florida. This state has the your richest state in America is California with a GDP of 2.6 trillion, six times Nigerian GDP. With a per capita of 50,000, Nigeria is two. Can governor of California drive five vehicles at a time? No, I'm asking you people a question. So we need to fix it. Can governor of California use five vehicles at a time? In your place, they use thirty and call it convoy. If it's not madness, tell me what it is. I think madness is when somebody doesn't have a cloth. No, there's famous for madness. That's what we need to fix first. So I want you to be part of that change agent. So let, so let's say, let people have souls and care for their people. That is what we need in our country. We need people who can think. Why are we not investing in the right thing? Today everybody knows everybody is investing in education and all that. We're not investing. People are telling why the problems we have solved in Nigeria. How can it solve? 60% of the people at children out of school live in sub-Saharan Africa. 10 million live in Nigeria. Yes. You can go and check your records. I saw somebody the other day. A particular state in Nigeria, Zamfara. Let me just call it. In the last year, Neko had only 110 students, only 24 passed. A state of 5 million people. Sure 24. When our state has up to most 200,000 for the same exam. It won't work. It's Nigeria. Every part of Nigeria is important to us. We have to ask that question. Why? What is happening? So, when people, when our Nigerians staying here, your investment is critical, but what is more critical? That you become part of the change agent. On top of this type of a situation, you still have people like me who are elected. Only in Nigeria, you elect people. People ask me now while we're eating lunch, what is the problem? I said, the problem is the people. It's so only in Nigeria that you elect, people, you elect people. They don't have car, they don't have anything. Six months, they build the house, buy 20 cars, and call it for Thanksgiving, and people will go there. <laughs> and they will be praying in the church, telling God to bless them. 
And the bishop will preach in that wherever they got the money, should give them more when they have to call police. Because they know where the money came from. Everybody knows where the money came from. But they are still celebrating it. It comes to America and buy a house and they said, if you see his house and it's in choice areas, when he's in Washington, they tell you this place, this man owns the house here. In New York, this man owns the house here. With whose money? Let him show you his business. His dead time job. That earned that money. For God's sake, why would Peter be come and buy the choice area in Washington when he didn't own it before? A governor built a house that is unbelievable, and they asked, he said, I used to have the money. Why didn't you build it before? Hey, wait a minute. What are you telling us? And you're owing us salary. Even if you had the money before, you would have kept quiet. The rascality must stop. That's what we need to do first. Let's deal with this rascality first. It's when we stop this rascality. Have you seen the video? What is your reason for not sharing this video? Share this video to everywhere. Let them see that this is the problem they have with Peter. Their problem is because the man has proven to be better than all of them. That's the problem. The man, the man has sense. He understands the economy. He has a personal reputation. He has got a personal understanding of the problem and ready to solve it. They don't want that. They are looking for who they will fight with. They are looking for people that will call their names. People that they have vindictive vendetta with. People that I don't get out of this place. And is it and we must stop this era? I personally was happy when President Muhammad Buhari became president of Nigeria in 2015. Sorry. You know why I was happy? We were able to unseat an equal bet government. I will be happier in 2023 when we will see Peter Bay become president. Because for the first time. We are going to show to these two parties that Nigeria or the power is with the people. What is democracy? We are going to prove to them that the power is with the people. That's what I want to do. We must continue to sensitize our people from the grassroots to the diaspora that power is actually with the people. And what we can do that is to share content like this. Don't let anybody deceive you and tell you that we cannot win the election. That's a lie from the pit of hell. We can win this election and we win it. Share this video and get out.